Welcome. Glad to be back with everyone today. Elohi Tahaleti, the God of my praise. That is the name of God that we will be talking about today. Elohi Tehaleti, the God of my praise, creator God, creator God of my praise. So as we understand his name, his character, his nature, we we, we know that that um, he he will not he doesn't separate himself from who he is his name right so we are able to specifically and personally pray the name of god in accordance to our need for that specific so the god of your praise he's the god of your praise at all times so regardless of what you may be experiencing in life even even right now in this season you know that you know that he is the god of your praise and in psalm 109 verse 2 this is when david cried out to god because he was being falsely accused David was being falsely accused, and he said this, Psalm 109, verse 1 and 2, he says, Do not keep silent, O God of my praise. There it is right there. Tehaleti, my God of my praise. Do not keep silent, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. I'm just going on and I'm reading. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. But look at the end of verse 4. I love what it says at the end of verse 4 because David turns to prayer. David says, but I give myself to prayer. And right there we see he was being falsely accused, but he gives himself to prayer. And before he states that he gives himself in prayer, and even before he tells the Lord of all the false accusations and how he is being falsely accused, he starts out this Psalm, Psalm 109, with the God of my praise. That no matter what's going on in your life and in any situation, you always will be a person that will always decree you are the God of my praise. You are the God of my salvation. You are the very present help in time of need. You are. He opens his mouth in verse one, knowing what he's going to say next, knowing that he is going to tell the Lord of the, of the lying, deceitful, accusatory tongues that are being sent against him knowing that he's going to give this over to the Lord he still starts out with God of my praise isn't that beautiful and isn't that an, an incredible and and such a, a precise example of how we too are to always 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 give the Lord God of our praise our very best we always give him the praise in, in no matter what Right. So he opens this prayer in verse one with, oh, God of my praise, because regardless of any accusation from from others, we should always be those that praise the Lord. And when you go over, just turn your Bibles to Psalm 148 and the whole Psalm, Psalm 148, the whole Psalm, you can read it, but all creation is commanded to give him praise and it's and it's spoken of throughout this whole psalm and i'm going to read to you portions of this but it says praise the lord praise the lord from the heavens praise him in the heights praise him all his angels praise him all his hosts praise him sun and moon praise him all you stars of light praise him you heavens of heaven heaven of heavens and you waters above the heavens let them praise the name of the lord for he commanded and they were created he also established them forever and ever and he made a decree which shall not pass away praise the lord from the earth you great sea creatures in all the depths fire and hail snow and clouds stormy wind fulfilling his word mountains and hills the fruit fill, fruit Full trees and all cedars, beets and cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and judges of the earth, both young and old, maidens, old maidens, children, let them praise the name of the Lord. He is covering it all, right? He is saying, let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is exalted, church. His name alone. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He has exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all of his saints, the children of Israel to praise him, the people near to him, praise the Lord. And we know that, you know, 
in Psalm 150, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 6, right? But so many of the Psalms start out and, and talk about and speak about praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In whatever scenario, whatever situation you're in, praise the Lord. Elohi tahaleti. Praise the Lord, the God of my praise. And I love this because in this mention here in 109 verse 2, in this mention in Psalm 109 verse 2, this is when David was being falsely accused. And I'll read it to you in Psalm 109 and uh, the first few verses, verses 1 through 4, how he was saying, Lord, they're lying. They're falsely accusing. They're with their tongues. They're being so deceptive. But nevertheless, he says, he says, praise the Lord from the very beginning. And nevertheless, at the end of those few sentences, he says, but I will turn my heart to prayer. Whenever you're falsely accused, praise the Lord, but turn your heart to prayer. Pray for them. They do not know. You know, people accuse, specifically falsely accuse, because they're in the dark. They're, they're hurt. They're bound. You know, they're, they're full of pain. They're full of deceit. But it's their, it's their inability to really walk in the love of God that causes them to lash out because of the undealt with emotions and the pain that's still there. It's very clear. You know, people kind of expose themselves when they start to harass you, specifically on a personal level. <laughs> Trust me. And, I, I, and, you know, when you're in ministry, when you're in a public ministry, you'll get plenty of that. But you can't let it, you can't let it move you. Like David, what did he do? He gave himself to prayer, but he still praised the Lord. Praise the Lord, all you saints. Praise him in the sanctuary. Praise him in the streets. Praise him when you are at home. Praise him when you lie down. Praise him in the inner sanctuary of your heart. But praise the Lord because he is good, because he is faithful. Amen? Glory to God. So today's name, Elohi Tahaleti, the God of my praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. And when we lift up his name in, in this countenance to praise him, no matter what we, whatever, you know, we're, is going on, you know, the name of God, which is praise the Lord, Elohi Tahaleti, we become very intimate with a very intimate God. We become very intimate with the God that knows us personally. He's cheering you on. He's encouraging you to keep going forward. He's telling you, run your race. Run your way. Run your race. Keep moving forward. Amen? That's right, Joyce. Joyce says, I declare that false accusations do not move me. That's right. And Joyce, you too, you're in a public ministry, and so there will be plenty opportunities, you know, for false accusations to start flying around. But, you know, you praise the Lord and you take it to prayer. This is exactly what this psalm says. Psalm, psalm 109, David gave his, he cried out to the Lord, right? He spoke to the Lord, he told him. But then what it is, I love how, I love how, how it says here, um, that he he gives himself to prayer in verse 4. Psalm 109 and verse 4. But I give myself to prayer. Isn't that beautiful? I love it because that's where we that's where we live. We live in a place of prayer. We should anyway. We should always living in a place of prayer no matter what. You bless bless your enemies, pray for those who falsely accuse you, but live in a place of prayer. Turn your heart to prayer and bless. Bless the Lord, O you saints. Bless, bless him. Praise him. Praise the Lord, O you saints. Praise him, for he is worthy of all your praise. Father, I thank you for those that are online today. I thank you, Father, that as we have been studying the names of God, it's been a rich, rich study, and, and this will be our last, our final week of studying the names of God. Um, we are going to move on and I'm, I'm strongly considering and praying about studying the names of Jesus because as rich as this study has been, studying the names of God, you know, there's, there's, a, there's so many names of Jesus that um, I believe would be a, a, a great um, follow up from, from this study. And it'll, as, as this study has been so enriching and even in your prayer life, I know that this next one will be as well. 
So, Father, I thank you for what you have done. And as we finish these last few names this week on this topic, on this series, Lord, I thank you that it'll. we're going to keep these in, in the very heart of who we are. We're going to pray them. We're going to we're going to go over them and pray. Oh, that, Lord, you are a personal God to us, Lord God. And these names, the, the more we know and understand the names of God, the more personal, Lord, you become to us. So I thank you. I thank you for each and every one of them, Father God. Lord, I lift them up today. And if there are any that are not feeling well today, I lift them up. And I thank you that you are the healer, Father. I thank you that you heal. I, hate, I thank you, Lord God, that you restore. I thank you, Lord God, that you are the mighty, mighty, mighty Savior. You're the healer and restorer. And so right now, I decree right now healing over them in the mighty name of Jesus. I see your prayer need, Lisa, for your co-worker. Yes. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Let the light of Christ shine upon them. Cynthia, good. She says, oh, you're happy that you're, yeah, Anthony is doing so much better. Oh, glory to God from the surgery that he had. And the back pain is gone. Amen and amen and amen. Yolanda, you're welcome. She says, thank you for your faithfulness to teach us so that we can grow richly. Praise God. It's just such, it's a joy. It's an honor, as you know as well, because you are also a teacher of the word of God. And it is really, truly a joy to be able to bring his word and to, and to teach that word. Because, you know, bottom line, that is what we have. We have, we have, you know, we have Jesus and we're so grateful. And his word His word is everything. It's his heart spoken to us. It's everything. His word is everything. We want, we just want, the more that, the more that you read the word and the older that you become in Christ, the more, the more, val I, I would even say the more valuable you realize. It's not that it becomes more valuable, but the more valuable you realize, you know, it is for yourself. So because you start to understand this rich, gift that you're holding in your hands which is the word of God and so the more you realize the value the depth the treasure that it is right um the more you just are eating it and you just saturate yourself in it and the more your life changes because his word is alive and it's powerful glory to God yes thank you father some of you know that I was in Arizona this past weekend and we had a great time. We celebrated my mom's 80th birthday. It was so beautiful to be able to do that. I had the honor to be able to crown her, you know, with, with this beautiful crown. It's her first crown she's ever received. 80 years old. She, her birthday is, is um, Wednesday. But, you know, we went there for the um, weekend. We went on Sunday after my service on Saturday night. And I was just so, such an honor to be able to crown my mom of 80 years old with the first crown she's ever had in her life. And I told her, I said, mom, you look like Miss America. You look beautiful. You look so beautiful. And um, so some of you saw the picture that I posted on Facebook. And um, it's such an honor to be able to do that for her. It is an honor to me that I, I have that opportunity and it's one that I cherish and I don't take for granted. I don't take it lightly. I'm very grateful. So just, we just got back in last night and, you know, just still thinking past on just all the things that we were able to share with her and, and uh, honor her. It's beautiful. Thank you, Mary. Yes. Yes. Happy birthday to her. Cynthia, you said... The 29th of this month, your mom, your mommy will be 93 years old. That is incredible. Oh my goodness. I pray you have the opportunity to shower her with your love and with the love of Jesus. With the love of Jesus. And that's what we did. We gathered around, laid hands, and we blessed her, and we prayed, spoke scripture, shared stories of growing up and through the years that we just loved we just shared with her you can never honor somebody you know enough to me we give honor like the word says where honor is due 
Amen. All right. God bless you all. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow um, morning, same time. Have an amazing day. I love you all. You guys are blessed beyond measure. And we'll see you soon. God bless.